Have you ever wondered what it's like to render with Redshift and four RTX 3090s? Well, today we'll be using this H3 Falcon 4205. It's an external case with four GPUs, and we're gonna run it through some production rendering tests. Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Review, and on our channel we like to bridge that gap between the creative content and the technical requirement. And if you've been watching my channel, you know I've done a lot of videos on GPU rendering and GPU benchmarking. But what I haven't done is any production rendering and testing and stressing out the equipment to see what it's like in a real production environment. So I thought we would run the H3 Falcon 4205 with the four GPUs, RTX 3090s, through some really tough rendering environments and see how much time has get saved compared from one GPU to four GPUs. So back in 2018, Disney Animation released a data set of one of the scenes from the film Moana. And I thought that this would be a great way to stress out and test out these four GPUs. So before we start, I'd like to thank Darby Edelin. He's an individual that took this Walt Disney Animation Studios data set and converted it over to Cinema 4D. I'd also like to thank the people over at Maxon as they have given me five licenses of Redshift Renderer so that I can use them on this H3 Platforms Falcon 4205. I'll leave links to the Redshift forum where I found this original download link from Darby in the comments below, as well as links to Maxon's site so that you can take a look at the Redshift Renderer. So this render does take a really long time. When Darby originally did it and he posted in the forum that he was using a Quadro 8000 with 48 gigabytes of RAM and it took approximately 46 minutes. So the render for me turned out to be 37 minutes using Redshift in an RTX 3090. So I wanted to see what the difference would be once I added GPUs to that pool and how far I could go and how much time would be saved by adding each GPU. So I rendered this out with one GPU all the way up to four GPUs. No matter how many GPUs I used, the render was identical every single time. The only difference was that I was saving time by adding more GPUs or adding GPUs to the render pool. So let's take a look at some charts to see what the difference in time is every time I added a GPU to the render pool. So you can see here on the chart, with one GPU, it rendered out at 37 minutes and 15 seconds. But once I added the second GPU to the pool, the time was reduced dramatically to 20 minutes and 30 seconds. But then once you added the third GPU in, the time difference between the renders became a little less with 16 minutes and 26 seconds. And by the time I added the fourth GPU to the pool, it was 14 minutes and 27 seconds. So it's not a linear reduction in time every time that we add a GPU, but there is a dramatic difference between one GPU at 37 minutes and 15 seconds and four GPUs at 14 minutes and 27 seconds. So this was just a quick video so I could show you how we can stress out some GPUs. In this case, a pool of RTX 3090s. I'd like to thank the people over at H3 Platform for allowing me to do all of this testing on their equipment. I'd also like to thank the people over at Maxon as they have given me five licenses that I can use on this GPU rendering. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, hit notifications so you can be notified when I release new videos. Visit the Discord chat server so we can build a community. It'll be in the link in the section below. I really enjoyed doing this video for you and I'll see you in the next one.